this is Swage Sense for Mark 7. What does it do and how does it work? That's what we're going to show you in this video. Gavin Gu here from UltimateReloader.com. I'm back with John Vlieger from Mark 7. John is one of the top techs. He deals with these sensors every day. This time we're going to talk about Swage Sense. What is this thing? How does it work? What does it do? And yeah. will you install the machine for us too? Oh, I mean, you're asking a lot there. <laughs> <laughs> so with Swage Sense, the whole point is to inspect the primer pocket. Mm -hmm. you know, just because the decap sense saw a primer fall down or mm -hmm. you think you decapped your case, depending on the condition of the case, like if it's been sitting in a puddle for a long time, military crimped primers, you don't always eject the entire primer mm -hmm. when you decap it. You might leave the wall, the ring of the primer, stuck inside that case. Yeah. If you try to prime that case, you're probably going to have a bad day. At minimum, yeah. you're going to waste that primer trying to shove it in a a, a space it's not designed for. Mm -hmm. So the way Swage Sense works is first of all, you don't sacrifice anything uh, with swaging that the machine can already do. Mm -hmm. The swage rod is exactly the same, cross compatible, uh, and it still accomplishes the same thing. It swages your primer pocket, but mm -hmm. it is an additional step. What we have here is a lower housing and an upper housing, and we have some stiff Belleville washers that mm -hmm. act as springs gotcha. in, in between the two, uh, two halves. Mm -hmm. In the event that the swage rod encounters resistance, or an obstruction, these two halves will compress together. It's being forced up from the bottom, it's being stopped at the top, and that gets this post right here closer to the micro switch. When mm. that micro switch gets activated, the machine should stop. So it can, it can go ahead and transmit the forces of normal swaging, not trigger, and then if there's an overload, essentially, then it's gonna exactly. close the micro switch, uh, boom. Pressure cut off. Yeah, it's very way good. To, way, to, okay. way to explain it. But yeah, we're gonna install that. We do have to pull the pulley off once again okay. to install this bad boy, but I think you're gonna get some great use out of it. Cool, let's get to it. Yes, sir. So we got the switch sense installed. You wanna walk through the steps to get sure. to, to that point? So first step, get it to the point you can access your factory switch. Mm -hmm. And we're, that's simple as pulling your sprocket, pulling the cover, and your conrod, pulling your old swage out, mm -hmm. and then installing the new one on the apex. Uh, just take the... Uh, this is the old swage right yep, here? Old swage. Assembly fixed. And keep in mind, this, this rod is interchangeable. So cool. you can save this as a spare put yep. it on the road. Nice. Uh, take the swage rod out of the housing, push it up so we have enough clearance, put our red uh, actual sensor in its place, thread it together, and reassemble. Uh, the next step after that is setting your swage. Remember, this is a swage sense. Whether or not you use the sensor mm -hmm. is on the fly on the sensors panel. However, you want it to be swaging. Yep. Mm -hmm. We got the swage set up just where you want it. Yes, sir. Now let's function check. How about that? Great. So we have one of the, uh, the case I use to set the swage. Yep. Simple as putting it in the station, make sure our swage sense is on, and we can hit run, and it should go one cycle, complete, swage that case. It okay. moves on. That was a decapped case, and it is, didn't detect an obstruction. Yeah. So now we have a non-decapped case. Mm -hmm. So this will destroy your case if you test it like this, but that's the mm -hmm. whole point, getting confidence in your yeah. equipment. Sway chance is on. We hit run. Ringer detected. Nice. Now, a lot of people don't know what a ringer is. That is when you leave the ring of the mm -hmm. primer in the primer pocket. Yep. Uh, error comes up. We can hit OK, and we can jog up. Enough to clear the die of the case, yank that bad boy out. We can see that we shoved the oh, yeah. primer deeper in there, jacked up the rim, <laughs> but it saved us from trying to prime this, you know, on yeah. the next station, which yeah. I don't know about you, but trying to prime a obstructed case is not on my list uh, to do today. Yeah. Less to clear. We're not going to be damaging parts and components. Mm -hmm. We're not going to be wasting time. Yep. Problem happens, boom, let's get to it. Let's yep. clear it and get back in motion. Mm -hmm. And if it's not sensitive enough for you, it's as simple as adjusting the height of this post. Gotcha. on the actual block to get that post closer to the mm -hmm. micro switch if you want it more sensitive mm -hmm. or farther away further away from the micro switch if you want it less sensitive mm -hmm. so it is tunable for what you are doing if you don't want the swage sense to go off at all you can back that post off very good well i hope that helps you guys understand what the swage sense is how to install it how to adjust it how to activate it now keep in mind we've got other sensor videos we're actually covering all of the sensors here on the apex 10 with individual videos so you're going to make sure you're subscribed, check the channel to check those out. If you have feedback about Swage Sense, if you have questions, drop a comment and we'll start a discussion. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're going to want to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you're interested in becoming a professional gunsmith, check out the Sonoran Desert Institute. They've got a degree program, they've got a certificate program, and you can study from home. Learn more at sdi.edu. Thanks again for watching.